Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. This video today is going to be just a little fun playing time. I've got deco art colors left from a class. So I'm going to go through them really quickly. I've got a primary yellow, a bright orange, and I added a little red to deepen it because it was a little lighter, too light for my taste. This is true red. I've got neon pink and I'm not sure if I'm going to use all these colors but I'm going to tell you any anyway just in case this is bubblegum pink got a little drip in it there got some dioxazine purple left purple rain some true blue not much but a little bit festive green and then kind of a teal mint color and I added some green and I've got that color. I think that's pretty much the rainbow of colors that I have. I don't have a lot of the true blue so what I'll do is I'm going to mix a little more into this cup while you're watching just so you can see how I do it. So I've got the big 16 ounce container of the Deco Art. Uh, I'm going to add just a few ounces. And then my typical ratio that I use for all of my colors is one to one. So I'm using Oetrol Easy Flow. It's a European company. And I'm going to add a couple of ounces. I just eyeball it. I don't measure it. But it is a uh, available on OetrolUSA.com or in my Amazon link below my videos where it says show more. You can click on the Amazon link there and it's somewhere in the list. It may be way down at the bottom. I'm not real sure. And with DecoArt paints that are in a bottle like that, typically you do not have to add uh, water to it because they're fluid enough. That's a little bit thicker because some of the paint that was in the cup was sitting, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change the consistency. I am gonna put one drop OGX Coconut Milk Anti Breakage Hair Serum. The main ingredient in that is dimethicone, and that's what makes the beautiful cells pop up. So I am going to put a layer of the Lamp Black, same recipe. It's mixed one to one with Oetrol and a little bit of water but not much. And I'm not putting a real thick base, I just want a light coat. And I do have titanium white. I don't know if I'll use it or not, it's in a squeeze bottle. I get my spreader here. This is a Wilton icing fondant spreader. You can find it in my link on Amazon. You can also find it at Michael's in the cake Wilton section and Walmart has them in the cake Wilton section because they Wilton is coming out pretty much everywhere with their cake decorating supplies and so forth. So that is where you find it if you're looking in a store and if not you can get it on Amazon and have it delivered to your door. So I take my paint all the way over the edges so that if I have any colors that go over then my black will also be on the edges of the canvas. This is a pre-primed 12 by 16 inch canvas and the black is pretty dull, so I always like to make sure that I have a fresh coat of the black paint on the sides as well to make sure it matches the top. I do have some metallics mixed up too, but I don't think I'm going to use metallics. I want this just to be kind of a rainbow of colors. So there is an artist called David Boyd 
on Facebook. I forget what his YouTube channel is, Faux Pas Art or something like that. And he does these pours to, uh, usually to music. He doesn't talk, he just pours and there's some background music, usually back from several decades ago. But he built one of these little contraptions and I did too and I've done it once or twice but I haven't used it in quite a while. So it is a cup that's hot glued into the bottom of a two liter water bottle kind of jug and I cut six slots out with a, like a razor knife, hot glued the cup into the concave area of the bottle which is the bottom of the bottle and then you put it in your the center of your canvas roughly and you pour into this area here and then it puddles out onto the canvas. So that is my plan. But then I don't I don't want a particular pattern. I'm probably going to tilt it and you know just have it make some kind of a random design. I just kind of want to see what I can create. So I'm going to just start pouring colors and I want it very random and um, I'm going to go with, I think, some of the brighter colors first just to make sure there's lots of contrast against that black. Okay, so I'm going to lift it out. So now I have these puddles, which are great, but, and they do have OGX in it. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they're mixed one to one with Oetrol. No water, and they do have OGX, a drop in each color. I'm going to have a lot of runoff on this, so I'm going to put something under my canvas to catch the drips and man there's some cool looking drips coming out on the butcher paper here but I'm gonna have to put it down on underneath the canvas and there's already drips down there that are already very beautiful probably so let me lift this up really fast see there's already a beautiful I can't hold this and do this with one hand. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to lay it down a half at a time. So half of it. And scoot it. Okay. So now I can tilt. And I'm just going to quickly tilt. I don't like the center at all. I do like the rest of it though, so I'm going to see if I can maybe... take that center part off. And that's pretty cool looking. So I have all this beautiful stuff on my pad. All this beautiful paint. Don't know if you can see it. I'm just trying to decide if I want to tilt anymore or just leave it. Because I can stretch out the cool pattern a little bit. I think I even like that better. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. But I'm going to lay it down for a minute. So I used like way too much paint. 
That's the one thing when you're pouring over a bottle bottom or in a sink strainer, you don't really, you know, you're not really tracking how much ounces you're pouring out, so you kind of go overboard sometimes. And this will dry darker. And I have one corner that does not have enough paint, so I'm just going to try to take something that looks similar. And trickle it over the edge here. Okay, I'm going to leave this one. It's pretty abstract and funky, but I like it. So I bought a small dust pan. I have a two pack of canvases, five by seven canvases. I could dip right into there. Dust pan. I have not tried this before, so hold on tight because I have no clue if it's going to work. I'm, I want this here first if I can get it. So I'm just going to scoop. And basically dump it on my canvas. Just dipping, dipping my edges. So this is this one is kind of dark, not like I wanted it really. So it's kind of dark. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna try again to get this with all the multi colors, but I tell you what, first I'm gonna scrape this out so I don't have that muddy color in there. Then I'm going to hold on to this and dump. So now I have plenty of paint. So here I go. And the thing about it is when you get so many colors together, they do great things, but they can also get really muddy. So I have that one. And I have this one. And this is basically turned to mud. So what I want to do to this one, because it has some yellow, I just want to trickle Some hot pink, a little bit more yellow, and maybe a bit of orange. I just got a plastic knife here. I'm just going to swipe it.
I love that area right there. Put a ribbon of it right through, I don't know. See, by the time you pick a color up off your table, it, it can go muddy really fast. So there's that one. I'm going to leave that the way it is. This one, I want to accentuate that blue and turquoise color. So I'm going to do that. I even have colors in my my tower thing that I built. I like that greeny turquoise color, so I'm trying to scrape it up. Then I'm going to take red and put red right against that color. Maybe a little bit of orange. And then I'm just going to slide my little palette knife right through it. in this blue. Maybe a little purple. Orange. A little yellow alien head there I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so I'm going to do a little orange petal here. With maybe some turquoise. Pink. I've got a balloon. Smashed it just to see. Yellow, orange, 
red. Put a little bit of this turquoise color right against it. Keep on till I get something I like. I like that right there, and at least there's some color going on there. So there's that one. And here's this one. So, leftover paints, just plain, big waste of paint here. 